Well, Neil, what's the mood like in the camp at the moment as we head into this weekend's game against Tranmere? Yeah, it's a little bit down, a little bit disappointed. I think uh, frustration is, is, the, is the big word, isn't it? You know, the manager's... Uh, Gone, who was very liked by the players and uh, all the staff, and that, that's that's a big tug on everybody. But um, a little bit quiet to start off with, and then once the session got going and into the session, they start coming out the shell again. So uh, they're, they're ready and raring to go for Saturday. And it is all about that. It's about pulling those personalities out going into this game, isn't it? Because we all know that there's they're a confident group, and it's about pulling that out ahead of a, a, what could be a, a huge game for us this weekend. Well, it is a big game because we've we've lost seven on a bounce, and uh, that's that's not very nice uh, for the staff as well as, as as for the players because their egos are, are a little bit dented at the moment. So. All we've said to them is that uh, individually they've got to play a little bit better, they've got to take a little bit more responsibility, uh, they've certainly got to stick together, but they've got to keep on uh, creating chances and then they have to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal. So putting all of that together, if they do that, then we've got a great chance to uh, be competitive against a very good team who are in second in the league and they're not going to be easy to beat. From your perspective, does much change in the build-up to the game at the weekend? Or is it all about focusing the players' minds? The players, it's all about, it's, listen, football's all about the players, isn't it? We've given the information on how we want to play. Uh, we've given the information on Tramia, the strengths and weaknesses and what they do in possession and out of possession. So they've, they know everything about uh, Tramia now at the moment. It's just putting that into practice a little bit better than what they have done over the last few games. And what are you expecting from Tramia? I'm expecting a team to be uh, very compact. I'm expecting a team to... Uh, Try and uh, play off the front two. I'm expecting a team who are going to put the ball in the box and uh, try and score the goal. And if they score the first goal, then they're going to be very difficult to uh, try and break down defensively. Really solid. They don't take any chances. Uh, they don't overcommit. So we have to find a find a way of of of, of trying to exploit their little weaknesses because they have weaknesses. And uh, if we do that, then we'll we'll score and we'll be in a good game and uh, hopefully we'll come on the right side which we haven't in the in the, in the past few weeks and squad wise how's everybody looking yeah everybody's everybody's looking okay we've got uh, uh, Stephen Ward who's come back into uh, into the group to train which is which is really really good we've probably got Jack Eran who's going to join the squad uh, tomorrow and um, he's just gone through his last tests on his uh, on his bang on his head and uh, Devante um, Rodney has trained with a, with a group for the first time in, in numbers instead of training by himself. So let's see how all of, the, how all of them uh, react tomorrow and then we'll decide what we're going to do tomorrow uh, team-wise.